Well, hello to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Please, please share everybody. Share whether you're on Facebook, if you're on Craft World, if you have friends over on either platform, please make sure you are tagging them in the comments. Do the little at sign, write their name, make sure they know you're watching. Share this to your news feed as well so other friends can watch and get involved to see what you are looking at here as well. Now, the offers that we have for you absolutely amazing okay so today we have if you're spending 30 pounds on the brand new paper discovery you're going to get a free bundle that's a stamp and a stencil and there's a choice of two as well now i worked out where did i put these i put the uh, saving here i can't remember where i've written it the, the price, £13 something, I think that's worth, when you spend just £30, okay, that is absolutely phenomenal. That's on the brand new paper discovery that we are looking at today, and I'll show them in a moment. Welcome to everybody who's watching on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Please make sure you're subscribing as well. We have these amazing offers running for you while stocks last, so make sure you're having a look at craftstash .co.uk in the bargain section okay up there we have a section just for everything that's on today's show so it's on this week's craft world live and you'll have all of these products plus anything else i've spoken about and that can be things like the deal of the day so today the deal of the day is the gemini caddy now um 26.99 usually that is down to i've got the price here somewhere 19.99 i knew that was a huge saving so that storage caddy is there make sure you're checking that out out, along with anything else we're talking about today so um, everyone's saying the sun's out I'm very very jealous um, Sally Ann is in Denmark and she said it's too hot there as well thank you so much everyone for joining us now first of all before I show you the products we need to go over and we need to speak to the very talented Olga so let's go and see Olga she's joining us via video link all the way from the Ukraine so good afternoon Olga Hello, how are you? Hi. Good, good. Are you as hot as we've been? You're as hot as we've been. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, exactly. It seems the whole of Europe has had the same. <laughs> so, the new collection. How did it come about? Lost in music. Um, are you music lovers in your family? Oh, wow. Uh, absolutely. And these products are... Absolutely, definitely. Um, so working with these, have you showed me a little while ago a few examples of what you've made already? Can we see those? They are beautiful. Slim line, you see bar shaped. One of them is the string instruments. Gorgeous. With a little bit notes and the um, die cut background. And this one is the piano keyboard really simple to make really easy but it looks looks very very impressive it's beautiful and white, but it's you'll see how easy it is to make i have also created one more shaker card over here and this one is really detailed has a lot of texture but unfortunately i had some technical problems i couldn't send the video today but you will see it very really really soon Oh, fantastic. We can't wait to see that one because I love a shaker card. Um, talking of technical problems, I think we couldn't hear you at the beginning of the video, but we can definitely hear you now. Um, I, was, I know I was asking you about uh, the link with music, so about your family and um, where your love of music comes from. Do you mind just repeating that just so that nobody misses out on what you said? Yeah, of course. I played the, the piano as a child. But then uh, I kind of stopped and moved away from it. But uh, I still enjoy the music. And uh, last year I picked up the recorder. So I think of continuing to play the instruments. Brilliant. That's lovely. And um, as you said, musical instruments are just beautiful to look at, even if you can't play them. 
they are stunning. So um, we've got in here dies, we've got stencils, we've got stamps. Um, what's your favourite thing to work with there? And, and embossing folders. Uh, and embossing folders, yes. <laughs> actually, I love all the instruments. Besides the instruments, we also have the musicians. So there is a lot of people also in the collection. So you can... Um, it, it's going to work for a lot of people, depending on what they like. And we are focused on classical music and instruments, but we also have the jazz band and some jazz instruments and also some older instruments like a recorder and wooden flute and a guitar. Wow. So I think I you've thought of everything. By most of people. And if you are playing something that is not in the collection, you just let us know. <laughs> yes, definitely. Let Olga know and uh, maybe she'll add that into the next collection. But I think this really does cover so many different occasions, doesn't it? Really, yes. Uh, because the music is about every, nearly every occasion from birthdays to weddings and everything. It is connected with the music. The music is the part of celebration. Absolutely. Like food. <laughs> that and food, yes. So maybe a food collection might be coming up next for you then. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we'd, like, we'd really, really like that. So we've got a video from you that we're going to show shortly. I'm going to run through those offers and deals because I was saying to you earlier, and I don't know if you were aware, that if, um, if the viewers today are spending £30 on your new collection, they're going to be able to choose between that stamp set and stencil set, the bundle, which I think is an absolutely amazing, amazing offer. Um, so they can do that. So I'll go through all the products in a minute, but what we do, might do is come back to you later and have another chat once we've seen your video and I get to have a play as well. Um, so that'll be really good fun. So hopefully we'll chat to you later on. But you're going to jump onto um, Facebook, is that right? And and yeah. go onto the comments? Yeah, I'll be watching and I'll be answering the comments as much as I can. Fantastic. So if you want to have a chat with Olga, please do make sure you're commenting and she will probably try and keep up with all the hundreds of comments that go through on a, fr on a Friday. So, um, Olga, we will speak to you hopefully again later on. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, she's so, so sweet and so lovely. So, yes, we do have a video demonstration, but I know you really want to see the products and exactly what we're getting within this collection. So let's have a look down at my desk because I'm very fortunate to have it all here, all the new pieces. So we're going to start, this is probably my favorite piece of the entire um, collection, the new collection. So we've got the Grand Piano Die Set. Now this is amazing. It's bigger than in real life, if I show you here. So this one has been made here by the lovely, I've just pulled a flower off, I'm so sorry. I'll stick that back on later. This has been made by the lovely Linda Parker and you can see the size of this piano. So it's a shaped, card here and you can add in the keys you can add in layers so we've got the lid here Linda's even put a stand there as well so it can stand open and you can make it into a card that stands up into an easel card things like this as well if you want to so there's a lot included in here so there's one and then I, I absolutely adore these so these are some panels now Olga does this very often within her collections is add in some panels so um, this one here cuts the music notes into your cardstock so you can create the most beautiful decorative backgrounds but alternatively if you think about everything that's actually going to release from this as well so all of these little pieces that are going to come out like confetti you can be sticking those music notes onto your card this panel here is beautiful in fact when I showed you at the beginning this card so this one this one was also by Linda as well um, you can see these keyboards here or um, the keys I suppose it could be a keyboard or it could be a traditional piano couldn't it um, so this is what's being created with this border and again they're not to size on the packaging so they are actually larger than what you see here in fact I have this die here to show you the size that is stunning imagine cutting that as a border into your cardstock. Now that will cut into your cardstock and leave everything. In fact, again, I have a panel here. Can you tell I've been playing with these? So this is just cutting that die into this black cardstock and then you can layer it over a piece of white and voila, immediately you have some fantastic music keys. 
It's a beautiful die. But alternatively, you, you also have in this set those notes, but then you have the border. So you can add a panel of color behind, or you can cut these out if you wanted to, to create separate panels. So sticking with cutting dies, and again, these are larger than you'd imagine by looking at the packaging, but we have the jazz band set. So do you know someone who plays in the jazz band or who loves to listen to jazz music maybe? This is really fun because they're all individual dies so you can build up your own band, even if you just want to use, and I'll show you the size of one of these figures, the lady singing on her own, but in fact actually stood like that until she has the microphone in front of her. She could be holding a glass or anything couldn't she she could be dancing maybe so you have all of these figures in here and i think they look absolutely amazing as silhouettes just cut from black and put a nice bright background behind them but actually can you see on the packaging we've got dark elements in the gray now this actually shows you where there's going to be embossing into the die okay so people you're commenting you're absolutely loving so christina this is her favorite collection yet Mandy, the whole collection is amazing. Um, Debbie Richards said the keyboard is simple but effective. Um, Marie's loving the keyboard as well. Uh, Leslie, excellent collection. Thank you all so much for your comments. It is a fantastic collection. Now, the musical instruments, we've got here the wind instruments. Okay, you've got, now I'm not going to be able to name all these, but I can see we've got a recorder, a clarinet, a flute. Obviously, we've got the trumpet, trumbo, is it a trumpet or trombone? I need, trumpet, isn't it? Trombone's the one, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's the size difference. I'm terrible with the names of musical instruments. I think they sound lovely, but ask me to play one and I, I am lost, really am. So that's the size in comparison to the image on the front. So you can imagine, these are all then to scale to each other. So you can imagine how large these ones are. Again, because of the darker gray on the image here, we're showing the embossing on them. So you can see here, in fact, I've got this one cut out of gold so you can really see let's take this piece away you can really see that embossing in there let's hold it at the right angle I've got some very bright lights on me at the moment so I'm sorry for that and this is a mirror car can you see that embossing on there it's really really beautiful certainly to the eye as such so they are again absolutely stunning Guys, now we have our brass. This is where we get the trombone. <laughs> so we have those. And again, they are going to be larger than you are seeing on the packaging, okay? But you do get all of that embossing details. They're such good fun. They really are. We have the string ensemble. I love that word. That's a word that you just have to say with a French accent. I don't know why. Um, but the Lost in Music string ensemble die set. So, of course, we've got our violins and everything. We've even got a guitar in there, very popular um, for people. Now, it might be that someone's learning to play or, or they could already be able to play very, very well. They might love it. These would make a beautiful wedding card, wouldn't they? Especially the harp. That's going to be gorgeous. So we've got those. And again, don't forget, they are going to be larger than the showing on the packet. We've got the orchestra. So we have... The, um, the lady singing, so you can imagine just being at the opera with her standing there like that, can't you? And then, of course, we've got the chair, so we can sit the gentleman down on the chair while he's playing and all of the other figures there as well. Now, these are going to go so well with that jazz band that we saw earlier as well, so mix and match them. You can do that when you're buying the whole collection. Now, embossing folders, this has come out because I am demonstrating this one later, hopefully, if I get time. Um, absolutely beautiful with that wave through the middle so if you want to do some stamping or I'll show you in a moment some other alternatives in there but this just has that beautiful gap in there to make this a really unique embossing folder and what I love about paper discoveries embossing folder is the depth that you get the detail that you get in there in fact I'm going to bring in oh no alive that's another one I'll show you that in a moment that's not the, that's a matching stencil I need to get my products right then there's this embossing folder, which is absolutely gorgeous again. Really, really pretty. In fact, I've used this. Let me bring in a card to show you here. I'm hoping you can see the detail on there because I've done it tone on tone. There we go. Can you see in the background here, we've got that musical. Um, so you can see the guitar. You can see the keyboards there. You can see the trumpet. Oh, there's just so much. There's every musical instrument you could probably imagine in there all embossed absolutely beautifully. So that one's the instruments embossing folder. 
and then we come into the stamp sets and you'll notice with the stamp sets that we have lots of wavy lines and of course these are going to fit perfectly within that embossing folder within that gap that we have there so um, you've got your sentiments make your own kind of music in perfect harmony how gorgeous are they going to be if um, you're do doing a wedding card for example we've got much love and on your special day so these are beautiful and I love that we've got these these it's almost like music notes that have trailed off in the wind because you've got the leaves and oh it's just so so pretty so many elements in here and then a second stamp set as well and I don't forget the two stamp sets are options when you're spending over 30 pounds okay you're going to be able to choose one of these and one of these stencils that I show you in a moment completely for free so I've got here just a note forget your treble forget your trebles you are the music in my heart when words fail music speaks sing like no one is listening isn't that just wonderful there's so many beautiful sentiments in there that you probably wouldn't think to use usually but again we have this wave that we can use within that embossing folder if you want to and I love this and now what a beautiful border this would make wouldn't it they are going to stamp absolutely beautifully now we do have some uh, stencils and these of course being white are a little bit harder for me to be to show you on um, the camera there so if I just tilt it that way, hopefully you can just about see the design there. We've got this gorgeous, this um, sort of music note, the word's gone. It's going to come back to me in a moment. Trailing down there with all the music notes flying around. This is going to make the most beautiful background, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Now, of course, with these, you can emboss them with your rubber mat in your machine. You can ink through them, you can spray through them. Um, if we get time, I've got a demonstration where I use clear embossing ink through and then put embossing powder on over the top. And here is the last one. I've taken this out actually, so you can see that one. It's all of your musical notes here. So this is your six by six stencil here or mask. And again, use this in all the different ways that you can possibly think of because stencils are really are a multi-use tool and if I just show you a panel that I've embossed with gold you can really clearly see that isn't that absolutely stunning that's a sneak peek at demonstration later if we get time so the two stencils and two of the stamp sets and I must admit I need to check which way round they go which stencil with which stamp set are going to be your free option when you're spending over 30 pounds now today we are giving away over 120 pounds worth of prizes now that is using any of these products okay so it's going to be a mix of products we are doing this by first of all picking a winner from Facebook earlier in the week so if you entered that competition we will announce that then we have three winners from today's comments and you will be chosen from both craft world and from facebook and we'll bring the names together and i will announce those at the end i have a few more announcements as well before we get into the first um, demonstration so there will be a huge competition to win the entire collection that i will talk to you about at the very end but i just need to quickly announce a winner we sent out in the email today that the um, winner's name would be announced today and that is for another craft world competition that is our super weekly win now if you've never heard of this over on craft world you simply need to find the post each week i think it's on a sunday it goes up i'll be corrected in the comments if i'm wrong i think it's on sunday um on craft world news um there's a there's a post you need to comment and you can win an amazing prize you don't need to be a premium member for this this is open to everyone on craft world now each week the prize is phenomenal we've had things like tim holt's tool sets and things like this but this week it is and i've got the prize here oh if i can lift it we've got four full boxes of paper craft society here to give away to somebody okay now the winner for this from this week congratulations i've got your name here it is if your handle on craft world is at the jolly witches okay at the jolly witches if that's you this is all coming over to you please keep an eye on craft world news on at the weekend um on, i think it's on sunday enter for next week's because we have this massive prize every single 
week, okay? Make sure you're checking that out over on Craft World. So congratulations at the Jolly Witches. So let's get into this demonstration straight away. Um, sorry, straight away, I know it's taken a little while today, but we had so much to get through. Um, this is Olga's first demonstration using her beautiful brand new collection, Lost in Music. Hi, Olga here. In this video, I'm going to create two slimline cards using the products from the new music collection by Paper Discovery. To create the background for both cards, I'll be using new musical panels die set. That one consists of a cutting outline plus two different inserts, the musical notes and uh, the piano keyboard. By the way, these dies are the same size as the Paper Discovery panel dies that were released previously, so those new products are going to coordinate with all the older ones. Let's move on to the first card. I have created a card base out of cream cardstock and the size of it is 2 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. I have also pre-cut a smaller panel out of craft cardstock and this one measures 2.5 by 6.5. Now I'm just going to use the liquid glue and stick down the panel on top of the card base. Now I'm going to use a cream cardstock again and I'm placing both the outline and musical insert onto the cardstock, taping them down and sending them through the die cutting machine. And this is the patterned panel that we should get. By the way, the insert panel, when used on its own, is totally expandable, so you can create any size backgrounds with it. The cutout little notes can also be used on other projects on their own, and they also can make great shaker card fillers. I'm using the liquid adhesive again to attach this patterned panel onto the card front. The background is now finished and I'm ready to move on to the focal images. This focal image is going to be a cluster of string instruments and I'm going to use different color wood grain papers. The ones that I'm using are by Craft Consortium. The dies that I'll be using are from the new set that is called String Ensemble. Here we have a violin, a viola and a cello. There is also a double bass, but I'm not going to use it for this particular project. I've die cut all the images from different papers and this is what they look like. Here I have the same images die cut out of black cardstock and I'm going to use those black outlines to back up the patterned paper images. So first of all, with those black images, I want the F holes to stay on place. So I'm going to attach a piece of um, washi tape at the back side. If the hole does happen to fall out, you just have to place it back and uh, tape it down at the wrong side. I'm not sure that you can see it on a patterned paper, but the die also creates the string image by debossing it. I'm going to use that debossed image as a guide and I'm uh, going to cut it out with the scissors. This way I'm going to create a fingerboard that is going to be black. I'm just cutting this portion out of the wood grain um, image. With the cello image I'm also going to cut out the end pin portion as well, exactly the same way. With the smaller images for viola and the violin, I'm only going to cut out the fingerboard. 
This step is totally optional, but it's a great way to make those images even more realistic. Now I just have to use the liquid adhesive again and I will be attaching the wood grain paper images onto the black backgrounds. This way I'm also providing a bit more sturdiness to those die cuts which we are going to need later on. And now let's go ahead and attach all three images onto the card front. I'm going to start with the smaller one, which is the violin. I'm attaching the first image flat onto the card, so I'm using just a liquid glue. The next larger image is going to overlap the first one, so I'm combining a piece of foam tape and a liquid glue to level up everything. And for the third largest image, I'll be using a double layer of foam tape plus the liquid glue. To fill in the empty spaces, I'm going to use the notes as well as musical flourishes, and these ones are from the Grand Piano die set from uh, the same collection. By the way, if you want to add a sentiment to this card, this bottom part is uh, the perfect spot for it. But this time uh, I'm going to go without the sentiment, so I'm just using the embellishments. I am attaching the largest image at the bottom of the card, and I'll be using the smaller one to fill in uh, the empty spots. So that finishes the first card, and I think that this type of card will also work great for invitations. For the card number two, I have created a card base and a panel that are exactly the same size as the previous one. I just use different colors. This time it's black and white, because this card is going to represent a piano keyboard. And just like before, I'm going to start by attaching the panel onto the card base, and this way it's going to form a thin border all around it. Now I'm going to use a panel die, and again I'm combining it with the, the rectangle outline. I'm taping down both dies and sending them through the machine. This is the image that we should get. It cuts out the black keys as well as the outlines. All we have to do now is to attach it onto the white background. I have applied some glue to the wrong side. Now I'm centering this image on my card front. I'm just making sure that the black keys are facing the fold. This time I'm going to be adding a sentiment to my card. There are two stamp sets included in this collection, and I'll be using the phrase from one of them. I'm just stamping it out using the black ink over the white cardstock. I have cut out the sentiment, then I backed it up with a piece of red cardstock, and now I'm sticking it down onto my card using some foam tape. And that finishes the second card for today. Since this card is great for mass production and it also can be standing on a table, I think it can be great as a place card as well. You just have to write down the names of your guests instead of the sentiment. I hope I have given you an idea on how you can use the panel dies and how you can put together the string instrument images as well. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because more fun videos are coming soon. Isn't she just so good at demonstrating, especially when she has such a passion for her own collections. Um, that's amazing. I've never seen anyone in a nine minute demonstration make two cards so quickly. So 
um, that's fantastic. And hopefully it gave you some inspiration and some ideas. Now, don't forget to be sharing and commenting and tagging because that's going to get you in with the chance of winning some of these brand new products. Okay, we are going to take winners from both Facebook and from Craft World, wherever you are watching live from. Um, just comment, that's all you need to do is just send us a comment and we will be picking those at the end of the hour. So there's what there's less than half an hour left now. So that means there's less than half an hour for me to get playing with these products as well. So if we come down to my desk, welcome to my desktop here. <laughs> and um, I have now got the chance to show you my take on the collection. And I'm actually going to do something a little bit different to what I've seen so far, because so far with this collection, I've seen lots of black and white, which you can understand, lots of browns as well. But I wanted to make something really pretty and floral and uh, feminine, just to show you that these are fantastic for men, okay? There's no doubt about it. If you want to, to create a masculine card, this entire collection is going to be absolutely perfect. But sometimes you have ladies who you do want a feminine card for, um, and these are going to be equally as perfect as well. So I'm going to start off by showing you. So I've actually made myself a card base using the um, piano die set. Now, I did make a mistake with it slightly because I double cut it, but I will show you how to do this properly. So what you'll want to do is take a panel of cardstock. Now, I would suggest for this, using the piano die, to use a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock if you have it and fold that in half so that you've got a six inch width, okay? And then you're going to take the largest of the nesting dies. So there's three dies that are shaped very similarly within this set. So you've got the largest outside base, then you've got an insert, and then you've got an even smaller one which leaves open the keys here. So you want to start with the largest one. And if you're folding your 12 by 12 in half so that it's six inches, and it will be obviously a lot longer, you can trim that down place your die over, just over the spine, the crease or the fold within the cardstock and cut this out. So you can see where I left a gap down this side when I cut it so that I have a standing card base because this edge hasn't been cut, it's left as a fold. And what I've done just to complete that image there is just cut one more plain sheet of cardstock from the same die. So I'm going to glue this over the top of my card base. Now this does two things. First of all, it gives me a complete base here um, with that slight edge, that few millimeters of the edge that we missed out on the first cut. This just completes that, pops that back in, but also it strengthens your card. For me, this is going to be a card that has a lot of embellishment on it, a lot of layers on it going to be absolutely beautiful when it's finished. So this is just going to add even more strength to it. So just completing. Now if I fold that over, you can barely see that, but I have got just that extra couple of millimeters that we cut off in the beginning that's now there and ready to decorate. So my next option was a piece of pink and that was the second or the middle of the three dies that are the same shape. Okay, so I then cut this one. And when you look at the two together, there's very little difference except at the base. If I hold these together, you'll see one sits just inside of the other. Can you see that? And then, so it's this larger one that I've used the base for. The pink one is this smaller one. So it's got the slightly smaller area around the keys. So I've cut that and I'm going to glue, whoops, throw my glue around. I'm going to glue this onto this panel as well. Now I'm just using Craft Stash Wet Glue, um, which dries really quickly. And I love that it has the two different nozzles. So pop that and you'll see as I pop this down, we then get a border of white all the way around the edge. So it makes it nice and neat. Now I've got four layers of card, for my card base. So this is really going to be a nice, strong card. Okay, my next layer is patterned paper. Now this can be absolutely any paper you choose, but that's going to be cut using the next die, the smallest die of the three. Okay, so I've cut that out and I'm going to glue this down. So again, I'm, at the moment I'm gluing everything flat. I will tell you when I start gluing things down. In fact, actually I'm doing a larger area. I can use the other end of this glue. So we've got like a squeezy um, palette here. As long as it's coming. Oh, you're coming out that end because I didn't put the lid on. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm going to pop this one down now as well. 
just over there. So everything at the moment wet glue, completely down flat, okay? Now I'm going to show some die cutting because so far I've had everything cut out already for you. Um, just to show you how well these dies work. So I like to use 12 by 12 cardstock as much as I can because I just find you get more out of it than an A4, particularly when you're working with bigger dies. So I've cut this cardstock. So both of these can come from one sheet of 12 by 12. If you have A4, that's absolutely fine. But what I'd suggest before you start your project is make sure you've got at least two sheets of the same color of A4 to be able to get the base and the lid from the same colour. So I'm just come, going to come across, I've got here uh, my Big Shot, and this is, this is actually a Big Shot Plus, which is an A4 machine. But of course, whatever machine you've got at home, these will fit, the largest die will actually fit through an A5 base die cutting machine, okay? So don't worry if you've got, not got an A4 platform. You can hear that cracking, I love that noise. These will still fit through. So just take that away like so, and then I'm going to do some embossing on this panel. So just removing my tape gently. Now I love to use a plain cardstock and emboss it because it adds texture, but it's nice and subtle. It's not too much there. So you see I've got the lid there. Now I'm going to bring in this embossing folder and this is the one that was out of the packet because I was using it. So now, as you can see, this embossing folder is a little bit too small in height me to use with this. Usually we'd come in with our A5 embossing folder for this, but I really love this design and I really wanted it this way through the middle. So I'm going to show you, you can still use this on smaller areas. So I'm going to emboss most of the folder using that straight edge at the bottom there. And then this extra little bit here, I'll emboss again. Now, using a big shot, if you've not used an embossing folder before, what you'll need to do is take out the green plate here. So take that away and that will allow you to fit in your embossing folder. If you're working with another brand of die cutting machine, because I know there's so many out there, there will be instructions on how to use embossing folders if you haven't done already. I'm sure most of you have before. But you know, sometimes we've got new crafters watching who may have a die cutting machine but only used it for die cutting. So that's just giving you the optional extra now. So this has just gone through and embossed beautifully. Okay, let me hold that up at the light. Can you see that? Isn't that stunning? Now, if you have a cardstock with a white core, you're really going to be able to see through um, that white because the color on top will start to crack and you can then sand that back. But I've got a solid core cardstock, so that means that I'm not going to get the white revealing through, which is another thing to um, think about as well if you're um, embossing cardstock whether or not you you don't do or don't want that white coming through once you've really squashed your cardstock in the embossing folder so I'm just going to pop this back in and I'm going to lay my embossing folder just over the end that didn't emboss last time and just run this back through again I apologize you can't see my machine obviously space is a little bit squished here but you can you can see me arm working <laughs> so I am working hard at die cutting for you live let me just run this through there we go so now we've got the entire piece all embossed there and we can now run some ink into this if we want to so I've done this already but what I then did is I took a craft knife on a glass mat or a self-healing mat please don't do it on your tabletop and I carefully cut around this wavy edge, okay? And I've ended up with this, and I've backed it with some acetate behind there, just double-sided tape along the wavy edge, okay? Now this is optional for you, but I thought this created a really nice window there. So this will then sit over the top of this in the end, and that will just show through to that pattern paper and some other things that we'll pop in there in a little while. So I have inked around here in a purple and I'll bring some purple into the design in a little while to match with that. So this is why it's a good idea to plan your colorways and your embellishments and things before you start cutting because you can be inking to match. Now, um, the next stage is to add a hinge for this lid here. I don't know if there's another word for it. I don't know if anybody knows, but the, um, the lid, I, someone else has, yes, so but Barbara has just called it a lid. 
on a piano. I, I don't know, Olga may well know because she seems to be very, very knowledgeable about musical instruments, um, whether or not this is actually called a lid on a piano. So I'm just popping back into my machine here, this green plate, because I want to do some die cutting again. And I'm going to cut the hinge um, that's going to allow our lid to sit up slightly. Now with this, you don't have to have this sectioning. You don't have to have the hinge lifted up but it does add a dimensional piece to your project. And that way as well, you can also then have it so that it can be lifted up, but lay down flat also as an alternative. Look at this, so we've just got simply, this has been cut with a score line in it. Now this, this is great because this will either fit the base of the lid or you can fit it at the side and it's entirely up to you where you put it, okay? now. I had a look online at images. Isn't it funny how you know how a piano looks? But actually, when it comes to creating one, you forget, you forget exactly everything, what it looks like. So I did have a look and most of the hinges are at the side here. So I'm simply going to fold this like so. And I found the best way to stick this is actually with double-sided tape. Now you can use a wet glue, but you'll need to hold it. So um, just applying some double-sided tape to both sides of this hinge. I say both sides, the same side, but both both sides of that score line there. Okay, now I've got a finger lift tape and this is available on Craft Stash. I absolutely love my finger lift. It's my favorite tape of all to use because it lifts up so easily. So don't forget to make sure you're commenting because we're going to pick a winner for a select, well, actually we're going to pick three winners for a selection of these brand new paper discovery products and they are beautiful you're going to absolutely love playing with them so i've got there you can see the shine of the tape now just folding that again across the score line i'm going to place this down first of all against my pattern paper then press that down then i'm going to butt this up against the edge and gently fold it down so it sits perfectly in place. So we've now got that hinge there. It works really well. If you open it up, you can really press that down. I'm not worried about seeing this on the underside because I'm going to have this so that it just remains open ever so slightly. You're not going to see under there too much. Another die which I absolutely love, and you actually saw a bit of a sneak peek on a larger version of this when we were looking at Olga's demonstration, and that's the keys here. and when it's cut out from black and then behind matted with a white you get this look now you can actually cut this directly into the bottom of one of your larger panels if you want to um, but because i've got the pinks and i wanted that black showing i've just done it from a separate piece of black cardstock if we had more time i'd cut that for you to show you but you know olga did such a good job of showing you with the larger version and it works in a very similar way so i've just added a piece of foam tape to the bottom of this I'm going to put that at the base here, making sure that it's not catching on the, the lid there. <laughs> now inside, one thing I do need to do actually is pop my heat gun on because I'm going to be putting some paper flowers in. So I should have done this a little bit earlier, but we can have a look at some more examples of some work that's been done with these while this is heating up. This won't take very long at all. So just popping that on, I've got the little light on the glue gun there onto a mat here that means it's protecting my surface. While that's warming up, I've got a sentiment. Now, I cut this from, um, sorry, I stamped this from one of the stamp sets. Now don't forget, if you are purchasing over 30 pounds of the new collection today, you're going to have the option of choosing a stamp and stencil bundle. Now I think this is one of the biggest freebies that we've given away when you're spending any amount with a new collection. So that's actually two full free products that you're going to be getting when you purchase up to th over 30 pounds. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Because of the wave there, this is going to fit really lovely over the bottom there of that panel. Okay, so when words fail, music speaks. And I think that's so true, that's really lovely. Just checking as we're going that this is going to still stand up on its own perfectly, it still will do, so that's fine. When you start adding a lot more weight in there, what you might like to do is if you're standing up and you're finding that actually it's falling forwards, 
put another panel of this larger die cut or even two of cardstock onto the back just glued on with wet glue flat and that will stop that from falling over so this is oh we're almost we're almost warmed up let's just have a little look at a couple more of these examples while we're waiting for that to warm up so this one has also been designed by Linda look at this isn't that beautiful bringing in the quintessential um, conservatory I have to always remember the name of that collection this is one that um, Olga did just not that long ago actually a couple of months ago a beautiful beautiful collection but she's bought in that conservatory die and added in the some of the jazz bands there I mean it's really really pretty isn't it I love that she's used them just in black as well it makes it so much quicker and easier for you you don't need to think about coloring in the images the hair the skin tones things like this but also her dress in red that really makes her the focal point doesn't it they are the most beautiful beautiful silhouettes everyone saying wow it's an amazing card it is a card because of course it will fold completely flat so you can decorate the back so thank you Linda for that that is really really beautiful now I do have another one and this has been done by the lovely Pauline Hickey did you see on craft world um, I actually had did an interview with Pauline Hickey it's in conversation with that is available to view now which was really really fun so please make sure you check that out because we actually find out what it's like to be on the craft stash design team amongst other things as well we chat about so you get some gossip there um, but again another beautiful card this is a pop-up card so as you can see there it's completely lays flat bringing in all those musical instruments bringing in the embossing folders as well those musical notes and in the background here if I pull this forward you can see she's also used that panel that Olga used which is really really pretty so I, I absolutely love these uh, Mandy said she loves the drum kit uh, Leslie it's so easy to spend over 30 pounds with this collection yes it really is isn't it so let's get finishing this card because I know you want to soon um, hear who the new um, who, who the winners are so I'm just going to start gluing some flowers inside of here okay I've got a selection of flowers that I've chosen the colors all mostly match mostly pinks and purples but I've got the odd little bit of yellow in here as well and I'm using my hot glue I wouldn't usually use anything else to glue down flowers okay so hot glue is absolutely my go-to for this so uh, Rena has asked are you using a regular big shot or a big shot plus now I have both I have to admit I do have both at home uh, one on one end of my desk and one on the other I'm using the Big Shot Plus today but as I, I did mention that um, the all of these dies even the largest dies will fit through the regular Big Shot the A5 plate one so don't worry if you have got a regular Big Shot I still use that when I was getting ready for these shows I just use that during the shows because I find it easier to use because it's a bit bigger I can space and dies out so yes either or is absolutely fine now just bringing in so I'm working from the larger larger flowers inside of the card working out to some of the smaller ones again picked my colors really carefully um, so that they match this background paper here but then you can see gorgeous flowers peeking out inside of there as well which I think is really pretty now you can make this so that the lid is glued down or you can make it so it actually lifts out if you want to again it's completely up to you the last little thing I'm going to have in this card is these music notes now these come in with this die set that we're using the grand piano die set and just pop those so they are actually coming out from near the flowers but I'm going to be clever in putting them up here because if you think about the envelope that you're going to be using with this card there's a few extra flowers I can pop in later so if you think about the envelope you're going to be popping this in it's going to be about six inches wide and you're going to need it to, to be around about eight inches tall so you might be making your own but it's going to be a square envelope isn't it you're not likely to have a shaped envelope so this space here you can fill with overlapping things like these music notes here so this card now will actually sit as you can see it will stand up by itself but you've got those flowers in there now if you want to run a line of glue down here hold the lid down so that it remains closed you can do but otherwise if I show you this from underneath you can see those flowers peeking out from underneath the piano 
the music notes coming out and it's just really really pretty and a feminine touch bringing all of those together on a card that will stand up all by itself so there's my demonstration you've seen two cards from Olga as well but it's that time of day where I get to start announcing some winners so we've already announced the big craft world competition um, where we have the super weekly win so now it's time for me to bring my phone in and see who else we've got so um, we have got ah oh yes so last week we had Tombo I don't know if you were watching last week um, but we had Ileana demonstrating the beautiful Tombo pens now I'm in love with Tombo everybody knows that anyway um, but the winner for that is it's from Craft World so it's a handle so it's at at Big Hiller, I think your name is B I G H I L L E I. If you're watching on Craft World and that sounds like you, please message Hillary Community Manager. She will um, she will sort out getting your prize to you. Um, we've also then got the Facebook post that went up earlier this week. So that's where you get the chance to win a fantastic selection of these brand new paper discovery products. So that is going to Joan McKevitt. Congratulations, Joan. These are coming to you. I hope you're watching today. Now, three people who I know are watching because you've commented live in this hour. We have got from uh, Facebook, the first two from Facebook are Christina Danielle Pook. I think that's how I say your name. I hope it's right. Congratulations. We also have Paula Taylor as well. Each of you are going to win a selection of these brand new products. And then we have, now I need, to, I need to work this out because when we get handles, the names are all strung together. So I need to work out what the name says. So I think it's Spring Nana, but with an H in Nana. So Spring N-A-H-N-A. -N -A. If that's you on Craft World, congratulations. You are one of our winners as well. So you can either message us or we can message you if we don't hear from you in a short while and we'll organize those coming out to you. So now I've got a few more questions to answer. Um, what is the name of the pink cardstock? Do you know what? I'm sorry, it's in my stash, I'm not sure. But my favorite cardstock on Craft World is the Craft Perfect cardstock, okay? That is absolutely fantastic quality and it's solid core as well. Um, and Debbie has asked, where do I get my flowers? Again, I've had these forever, but have you seen the 49 and market flowers that are on Craft Stash now? Because they are absolutely beautiful okay so that kind of answers those for you now please don't forget we have so much going on on craft world i forgot to mention as well there's a there's selected paper discovery products on craft stash that have a massive 40 percent off now if you are a premium member on craft world you know what that means that means you are going to get your extra 10 percent off giving you 50% off of those paper discovery products. Make sure you check those out. They will all be under the bargain section. If you're not watching on YouTube at the moment, please do catch up on YouTube later and make sure you're subscribing over there as well so you never miss any of these shows. I will be back next week with What's Hot on Tuesday, um, but we have lots going on on Craft World over the weekend. So please make sure you join us. In particular, I've got a, I have a chat interview there with Paola Pascal, which is uh, really good fun, a fantastic insight into her crafting background. So make sure you catch that. And there's lots more going on as well. So make sure you sign up to the emails. I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Thank you to Olga for um, letting us chat with her and doing that amazing demonstration and for creating these gorgeous products. And thank you all for watching. Um, you're all wonderful. And thank you for commenting. And I'll go back and read through those right now. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.